Yeah, welcome to my channel. So we are going to be handling another topic called time series in business statistics. Yeah. Time series analysis and we shall look at time series data. Time series as you hear it is about time. So here our independent variable it is going to be time or race. Then it is the dependent variable that will be changing, but everything else depends on time. Yeah, so our independent variable in time series, it is time. So time series data refers to data recorded or measured in a chronological order. Data that is measured and recorded at a regular time interval. It is what we call time series data. Like when it is recorded like annually, or every week something like that yeah this data is measured and recorded at regular time intervals we use historical data in time series data like data of the past for example annual sales revenue recorded for the last 10 years we use historical data not futuristic data weekly sales for the last 24 months those are some of the examples of time series. So it refers to the data that is recorded in a chronological order like every year, every week, every month, every day, something like that. Yeah. And it is measured and recorded at regular time intervals. Yeah. Let's look at the importance of time series analysis. It is important in learning. You'll be able to learn about for, for example if you are doing research you'll be able to get information about what you want so you will be able to learn about something then forecasting since we use historical data historical data always helps us to forecast the future to predict the future then decision making it can help you to make decisions about something for example weekly sales for the last 24 months they, they they can help you to determine the the sales of the of the next month something like that or how how to increase on sales in in case the sales have declined so it it helps in decision making then performance evaluation if you if you have data about the weekly sales for the last 24 months it will help you to determine whether the, the performance of the organization or the business has improved or declined so it helps in performance evaluation and those are some of the importances of time series analysis then we are going to look at the components of time series time series has mainly four components yeah and here we have what we call the secular trend we have the seasonal variations the cyclical variations and then the irregular or random fluctuations these are the four components of time series secular seasonal cyclical and irregular so we are going to look at each one of them in details and we shall start with the secular trend Secular trend, this is the tendency of time series to either increase or decrease over a long period of time. The tendency of time series to either increase or decrease over a long period of time. Something that happens over a long period of time. If, it's, if it is increasing, it increases in a long run like over a long period of time it increases this year next year like that like that it keeps on increasing without decreasing if it is decreasing it decreases over a long period of time without increasing so in time in time series time is the only factor we consider and every variable is considered against time we already said that that in in time series the independent variable that we have is is time and every, everything else is compared to time 
So secular trend, we, we said it's a, it's a tendency of either increasing or decreasing over a long period of time. Yeah. And an example we have, for example, the increasing trend. First, we have is population. The independent variable is time and the dependent is population. Like ever since the world was made, population just keeps on increasing. It's rare for population to decrease. So it is a secular trend. It increases over a long period of time. It can decrease may, may, maybe when there is a pandemic, but the pandemic takes long to surface. So it is a tendency of time series to increase over a long period of time. For the population part, it increases over a long period of time. Like it's always increasing. It's rare for population to decrease. Then the decrease part, we can give an example of illiteracy, like the level of illiteracy keeps on decreasing over a long period of time, like it can never go back since like land people are increasing, even the level of illiteracy keeps on decreasing therefore a trend is an irreversible movement in time series which continues in the same direction over time for example literacy secures so a trend is something that is irreversible it continues in the same direction over a long period of time yeah. and time series is mostly one year and above that is also important to note. Then, another component we have is seasonal variations. This, we are done looking at secular trend. It, it is either an increase or a decrease of a long period of time. Then, the second one we have is seasonal variations. Seasonal variations, these are movements or variations that occur regularly every year. Things that occur at the same time every year. For example, Christmas is seasonal. Valentine is seasonal. Yeah. So the, these are variations that occur regularly every year. They occur in a regular and periodic behavior over a span of less than of less than one year. They are mainly caused by climate changes and customs. So. Seasonal variations are mainly causes um, are mainly caused by the changes in climate or custom where, where, whereby it is it is a setting you found it there like Christmas we found it there it is a custom that it is supposed to be there every December yeah. so seasonal variations are mainly caused by climate changes and customs where we have behavior and style. These do not show a steady increase, but they the variations. So they are things that happen at the same time every year. They happen every year. Those are seasonal variations. Yeah. An example can be prices, the prices of goods, and then against time. The prices of goods and services, the, 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 some periods where, whereby we, we are sure that the prices always increase in this particular period and prices always decrease in this particular period. For example, in the Christmas season, prices always increase because of the high demand and all of that. Yeah. So is an example of a seasonal variation then then another one we can have is time and then demand yeah, demand sometimes is seasonal for example the demand for scholastic materials it is always there when kids are going back to school 
so it is kind of seasonal then another component we have is the cyclical variations cyclical variations these are related to seasonal movements only that they last long for a period of one year and above we we, we said seasonal variations they occur for a period of less than one year but the cyclical ones they last long for a period of one year and above these are wave-like movements in time series like a period of oscillation of one period and another of one year and above so the best example of cyclical variations is the business cycle yeah the business cycle that you looked at in was it in macroeconomics Yes, it is the best example of cyclical variations that the changes that they they may be seasonal but they take long to disappear yeah. so the business cycle looks like this we always have the recovery we have the peak we have depression It is time against economic performance. Yeah, there is economic performance. Economic performance. The business cycle. Then another component we have is random or irregular movement. And these are series or movements which take a very long time to occur. They may occur just once or several times but without any pattern so they take a very long time to occur and an example can be a pandemic a pandemic takes long to occur and it can be seasonal or it it can come once in a lifetime yeah. so the random or irregular movements they they can be planned also known as episodic or they can be unplanned also known as accidental yeah, and an example we have is uh, time and then against things like wars wars can be planned or accidental then floods floods are always accidental i don't think they can be planned except in the bible so the, the graph of irregular or random movements looks like this and those are the four components of time series. Four components of time series. We have the random, the random or irregular movements. We have the cyclical variations. We have the seasonal variations. And then we have the circular trend. Yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like comment let's catch up in my next video we shall be continuing with our topic